least I've ever thought of an organization or any company. Anytime you enter into a company's reception or organization, what strikes you is their vision and mission and their objective. In other words, for all these successful companies and organizations that we all see, they must have a mission and vision. They must also have the objective. And the employees of that organization or those organizations must align themselves to the mission and vision. As in the mission and vision of any organization is what directs that organization to where they are heading. And the success of any organization or the success of any company, it is aligned with their mission and vision. What am I talking about? I'm talking about mission and vision. And I want to say thank you for those who have been taking time to listen to my video clip. May God bless you and I hope they are making an impact. Now, going back to my mission and vision, I'm still looking at our marriage and what is happening in our country. Every day, there is spousal killing. And we are asking ourselves, is it that we no longer have marriages that are, um, are do we have marriages that are working on? All the marriages are not working. And I guess the answer is not yes. We still have functional marriages. We still have beautiful marriages. Because even in my uh, previous uh, video clip, I said marriage is beautiful. And it's the only institution that was ordained by God. So in other words, what am I, am I saying? I'm saying marriage is an institution. And being an institution, then there must be a vision and mission that is directing that in institution to its success or to its failure. What am I saying? I'm saying if we are in a relationship, an especially intimate partner relationship, that could be boyfriend, girlfriend, that could be couples, we are married, then we must have a vision and mission. And both of us, we need to ask ourselves, are we aligned to the vision and mission? Interesting. You would visit organization and you would find employees that do not even understand their mission and vision. And in most cases, those are the employees that will make the organization go down. The same with our marriage institution. Maybe we, 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 we met each other, but did we sit down to draw our mission and vision? Did we ask ourselves, why are we in this? Because even in an organization or a company, even when things are not working up, they go back to their mission and vision and they ask each other what could be happening. And this is what I'm challenging even intimate partners. When you realize that you are not working on the same journey, it's high time you sit down with each other and ask each other, are we aligned to our mission and vision? And if you are not aligned, it is high time you start strategizing. And those are the, some of the contributors that are making our marriages not work because we are not speaking the same language. Our, and when our children even find that we are not even speaking the same language, they again speak their own language. So you find in the house, the husband is speaking their own language, the wife is speaking their own language, and the children are speaking in their own language. And you can imagine such an institution where everyone is doing what they want. And how can you know that you are aligned to your mission and vision as, an, as a couple? One, one of the objectives is that you share things together. That tells you you are aligned to your mission and vision. Two, you can laugh together. You can think together. That means, that does not mean that you do not have an independent mind. It only means, yes, you can think in your own way, you can have your own friends, but there is somewhere that you meet at the middle because you always have one goal, to make your marriage success. But the moment you find that you cannot speak in the same language, the moment you cannot agree, it is high time that I am encouraging couples or people who are in an intimate relationship that you, sat, you sit down or you go back to the drawing board and you evaluate your mission and vision. And it's as simple as asking each other, where are we heading?
Are we heading in the right di uh, direction? Are we traveling in the, uh, the same journey? Do we have the same goal? If you're able to answer that question, then that tells you there's somewhere you're taking your marriage. And this is what I want to leave you with. Always think if an institution, just think about all these companies that have been voted to be very successful. If you look at those companies, they have a mission and vision that are guiding them. So even for your marriage to be successful, and even to avoid all these things that are happening, you must be aligned to your mission and vision. In other words, you must have a mission and mi vision that is guiding you towards the success of your marriage. And if you don't have, it is high time that we swallow our pride as couples and sit down and ask each other, where are we heading to? And unfortunately, if you're not aligned to your mission and vision, please do not ex expect your children to be aligned. They will head in on their own direction because you're not even leading them. Even those organizations, they have leaders who point them to their mission and vision. And if the leader is not pointing them to their mission and vision, I'm telling you those companies will not be an organization, cannot be successful. The same. Are you pointing even your children to your mission and vision? Do you have a goal? God bless you. Until next time, thank you for taking time to listen to me.